Hey YouTube, how's it going? Uh, I'm going to be showing you today how to create uh, demons out of your very own photos. Uh, very similar to the one on the screen just here. That's a picture of myself and my girlfriend Lindsay. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up uh, your Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CS4. Um, I'm on the understanding that you can do this with all the rest of the platforms. The brilliant thing about Photoshop is obviously you know you, you, you never stop learning about anything. So let's get on with it then. Okay, so right here I have a picture of myself. First thing I'm going to do, uh, just in case I go wrong or anything like that, I'm going to duplicate, duplicate my uh, background. All I did there was right click and click duplicate, duplicate layer. Oh, I can put my teeth in. Right, okay, what I'm going to do on this new layer, which is identical to the original, is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, get the paintbrush tool. You can also do this by uh, just pressing B. Okay, I'm going to select black as my colour, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a reasonably large brush, let's say around 300, I'm going to set the hardness all the way to the uh, 100% because all I'm going to do here is I'm literally going to paint around myself. Now you can do this by masking or other ways. Okay, all right. So let's just speed that up until this area is done and I'll tell you the next bit. Okay, coming on to the next bit. Um, we're going to make the brush a lot smaller, about 100, with the hardness at zero. This time I'm going to zoom in on the photo. Um, I never actually realised how scary I look. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Uh, and what we're going to do is, again, with the uh, black, uh, with the paintbrush, hardness at 0%, uh, uh, what I'm going to do is literally go around the edges. And the reason I want it, like, almost feathered is so that if I go over the edges like this, it won't matter that much because we're doing quite a dark picture. It's, you know, turning myself into a demon, so it just creates extra shading on the edges. I like you see. Okay, we're gonna do the whole thing. We're gonna speed that up and come back to you when it's done. Okay, so as you can see there, uh, what I've done is after I've painted all the background out and everything, um, I've gone to a larger brush. Uh, in this case, it's uh, 422 pixels. It's 0% uh, hardness, and I've done that across the bottom there as well, um, just to almost give it like a frame-like feature. You know, me popping out of the light. Okay, so since we've coloured around uh, that, the next thing we're going to do. Uh, in this case, uh, I'm going to be putting a, a skull over the picture. So this time, I'm going to create a new layer by clicking the new layer tab. You can label these if you like. Save time. I'm not going to do that at the moment. Right. I'm going to take my uh, paintbrush tool and over my left eye. I'm going to do the left eye because the right eye. As a piercing above it, it's just going to be a little bit easier. Over the left eye, I'm going to use a brush around 65 pixels, and I'm literally going to paint out my eyeball. And you'll see why very shortly. Okay, once I've painted that, I'm going to set the blur tool, uh, strength 100%. And about 50 is good, so I'm just going to run that around the edges there. Um, it'll get rid of any sharp bits, plus it'll give it more dimension, uh, as if the eyeball was really missing. Okay, because we're going to paint the eye in later. Okay, let's go to the next phase. In this case, it's going to be adding a 
skull. Okay. Now you can find uh, a picture of a skull if you just Google it, maybe, or you could um, do your own picture of it. If you, uh, Halloween's just gone, maybe you could. You still have some props. Maybe take a picture of a skull. And I'm gonna use uh, probably one of the coolest tools on um, on Photoshop. It's a lot easier than the uh, lasso. It's the quick select tool. You can select it by pressing that or just press the W key and that will select anything that's roughly the same colour as whatever it is that you drag your mouse over while holding the button down. It's a lot faster than lasso. Uh, it's remarkably accurate uh, and it's perfect for what we want. So the whole thing selected there. Then we'll go to the uh, move tool or you can press V select it and just drag it across to your other picture okay as you can see that's really small there so we're going to have to resize it so what I'm going to do while I'm resizing it and uh, turning it around a bit I'm going to uh, speed this up okay once you've got it almost positioned to where it is that you want it um, go across to the opacity and bring it down to around 50% thereabouts that's going to enable you obviously to see through it now what we want to do is make sure that the features of the skull um, work to your head now obviously I've got my head leaning forward slightly there so if I press the control button I can drag the corners in so that the mouse works just on them points. Now as you can see there what I've done is I've made it so that the teeth line up with my mouth, the nose with the nose bone. Uh, we're going to take it slightly higher just for the eye socket but just so uh, it's perfect. Okay so press enter which you've got it all happy and uh, to where you want it. Select the rubber tool Okay, we want this to be reasonably feathered. Um, about 200 pixels, I'd say. Okay, and then we're going to take out the majority of the skull. Now, remember, before I painted over uh, this eye, we're going to take that out there because it's going to be almost like a Terminator thing, that like kind of style. Okay, we're going to keep the jaw, but what we are going to want to do is with the feather take it around the edge of the uh, the skull just so that we get a nice blend there okay right at this point we can bring it back to 100% opacity and then we can see exactly where the hard lines are and you notice know, with the blend there it kinda sorry with the feather on the rubber kinda helps it blend a lot better Okay. Right, that's the next phase done.